Ah, oh, me hearties, a very good evening to you. It is just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Saturday night, nothing gets past me. And we're live on TikTok Live, saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Just a nice random Saturday evening pop-up. See who's about, of course. As I say, I always feel like Crocodile Dundee when we're doing one of these lives. You know the bit in the movie when he goes and he gets the... The whirly, I don't know what they're called. My Australian cousins must forgive me, but they're fantastic. And it brings everybody together for massive communication. And that's what we like. We all like to get together for a good old chit chat, especially during lockdown. The news is so very depressing. There's virtually nothing on the telly, very little on the radio. So you might as well come and join Scotty McClue here for a while and use a bit of your time well and wisely. So there we are. Welcome, 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 I say. First Lord of the Internet, the world's top broadcaster, and we're live on TikTok just for you. Hello there, sauces. Tez, hello, Tez. Dinky do. Thoughts on the Alba party, says Matt. Matt, I haven't quite got my head round it yet. I just heard about it last night. So I'll have to have a right good look, and then we can discuss it. Hi, it's Paul here. Hi, Paul. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, absolutely. Uh, it's Ollie here. Hello, Ollie. Dinky Do to you as well. Fantastic. Guys, can you follow me as soon as you come on, please? We're very short of followers, and uh, we need to be building up. We should have half a million followers by now. Good evening, Gaffar, says Jordan. Jordan, good evening to you. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, mate, I hope you're well and keeping safe. Gavan, how lovely to hear from you. So there we are. Dinky do, dinky do, Morgan. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us watching Scotty McClue early on a Saturday evening. Random pop up. Come and pop in and pop out and all these things. I'm proud to see you again, mate. Gavan, I'm always proud to see you, sir. Lovely to have you with us. Nice cap, says George. There we are. I thank you, George. Very much appreciated. It's one of it's a very, very, very famous cat. This billions of people have seen Scotty McClue's hat. Dinky too. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Vicky. Welcome, welcome. AK has just joined us. Good to have you with us, AK. And a very warm welcome to you. Fantastic. Thank you, says Gavan. Not at all, Gavan. A privilege and a pleasure. There we are. Can you all Share and follow, please. Follow and share. You need some flies in your bonnet. We, Kate, would set it off nice. Matt, um, I uh, don't fish, but I did know somebody that had flies in his bonnet. So there you are. And I had one in a shot. And I said, oh, do you want me to take it out? And, no, no, leave, leave it alone. So I don't know if it's superstition or something like that. Danny, we don't do pronouns. We're ahead of that. This is the future. Church, you see what I mean? We're all inclusive here, so we don't need to know anybody's pronouns. Can you say hello to my mates, Jordan and Tyler? I can. Jordan and Tyler, dinky do. I hope you're both well. Fantastic stuff. So there we are. And there's Andy joining us. Just a question. Do you have any books that you made all um, thinking of someone else? Uh, have I written books? I've only, only a thriller. Uh, so there we go. Dinky do. Don't want to embarrass you, but you've got a little buggy. And um, well, it, it was big at the time. We got the pram wheels and my father made it out of wood and you could steer it and it had brakes. So I Although it might look like a little bogey now, it was a massive, massive bogey at its time, you know, that sort of thing. So all rather good stuff, I say. Wonderful. Now, just a wee second, just to sort this out. Fantastic. There we are. We'll just get rid of that. That's wonderful. Excellent stuff. Now, wonderful, 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 I say. Oh, cool. I'll have a read of your book. Yes, you'll get on there. Absolutely. Dinky do, I say. Wonderful to have you with us. Now, a fellow Scotsman. Ah, yes, indeed. Dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us, as I say, 
all nationalities on here. We are very inclusive and we are international. So never a problem. There we go. Don't worry, Gavan. I've just got rid of that rubbish. These wee trolls with the nonsense were fly for them. 36 years in television and radio teaches you one or two little things about that. How are you? Get the weird people on tonight. On or off, Gavin? There we are. Do, do we want the weirdies on or the weirdies off? Jesus loves you, says Mr. Baldy. Mr. Baldy, I firmly believe you are quite correct. And I know that because the Bible tells me so. There we are. Horrible night in the Scottish Highlands. Vicky, it's a beautiful night. You've just got to be dressed for it or not go out. Hey, Scotty, how's things? Used to listen to you on the radio, says Kevin the Lone Wolf. How fantastic. Off, I mean, absolutely, Kevin. Get the weirdos off. There we are. There's plenty of them, mind you. Get the weirdos on to give us a laugh. There we are, <laughs> says Matt. <laughs> Are you from America? No, it would be lovely to be from America. Well, I'm actually from everywhere. I'm a child of the universe, you see. So there we are. Sorry, where did you say I can find your book? Well, Gavan, it's not in print. You need to go into YouTube and put in Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil, and you'll get chapter one. It's a thriller. There we are. Fantastic. Now, who have we got? Sir, Scotland will fail like Ireland did if it became independent. Now, Ireland has not failed at all. Ireland is extremely successful. Scotland hadn't failed for thousands of years. It only started failing when it got robbed after 1707. So there you are. Scotty, go qualifying the famous McClure. So there we are. The white light. Oh, cool. Thank you. I'll have a look. Do that. Yes, absolutely. Now, who have we got here? Ireland flourished, and so will Scotland. Quite right, Matt. I don't know where that guy said his head stuffed with nonsense. So there we are. But he, he certainly has had. Fantastic. There's Susan joined us. Sir Ireland had to be bailed out by Britain and Europe. No, not at all. Absolutely not at all. Remember... Britain was taking from Ireland. Scotty McClure, you should get an OBE. Uh, Steve James, that's very kind of you to suggest that. Uh, now, who have we got here? Can you tell us a bit about William Wallace? Well, they um, hanged him. They drew his body. They quartered him. Hope nobody's having a late plate of wheat bangs here. They quartered him, and then they chopped his head off and put it on a spike uh, at Westminster Hall, I think it was. And I think by that stage in the game, he said to them, OK, OK, I get it, you're upset. Uh, Scotty, I'm currently in the garden. So there we go. You're in the garden. How lovely. You'll get very, very wet if you're anywhere near Scotland in the garden. Scottish should be knighted for services to radio and entertainment. I mean, you are very, very kind. So there we are. Jordan, I could never, ever, ever give a shout out to anyone of that name. And what's more, I think you need to have a serious think about the quality of your life and also what you're going to do when you grow up. Okay, so grow up, Jordan. Uh, Scotland, curry in the garden. Fantastic. Scotty, you're a very educated man. I thank you, Susan. You say very kind things. That must mean you're a very educated lady. Uh, sir, Scotland's full participant in the British Empire. Agree or disagree? Uh, you're absolutely correct, some man, for one man. Uh, you're 100% correct. Scotland actually ran the British Empire for England, you see, because the Scots are superb administrators. Well, superb at anything they do. And also they don't buy into the class system, so they got a lot more done. The English had a class system, so somebody said, I'll speak to the governor about that. You know, they said, oh, no, no, you can't speak to the governor. I'll speak to the governor. You tell me. They had all that nonsense. So it slowed down communications. Whereas the Scots straight talking, they could talk to anyone at all. From the monarch to the monarch. Uh, have you ever been to Kirkcaldy? 
Only joking, Steve James. Kirkcaldy, yes, the home of lino, linoleum. Kirkcaldy used to smell of linoleum, and you could smell Kirkcaldy before you actually got there. I can go back to before the fourth road bridge. What about that? Say hi to Martin. I can keep cats. So there we are. Pipe down, Granddad. No, it's pipe up if a granddad is a pipe smoker. If you'd piped down, all the tobacco would fall out. And uh, it would also go all over your carpet. So there we are. Can I have a shout out for Alan, please? You can indeed. Of course I am, Scotty. Of course you are, Susan Smith. And well, you know it. That's what I say. You need to grow up, trolls. Yes, guys, I've put a six-second video up, and it just tells them to grow up. So can you send that round and use that if, uh, you know, it's an argument, the trolls? Absolutely. The cheese muncher is giving me... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. TikToks, where do I find them? So there we are. Now, uh, what we're going to do with this guy is dump him because he's trouble. Okay, so he's going. Yep, excellent. Right, so grow up the strolls. Hey, 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 and hey, de hoi, ha, hey, me, say. There's Gavan sending us some Gaelic. So I would say, Kamraha, maha, hachimachi, falchi, falchi, kidamile, falchi, don TikTok, I guess, scotchach, makluach. Everything, the Duke of Dundee, onion birch. Lovely to have you with us. There's Jack. Uh, so there we are. I walked with an uh, old boy. Um, in Kirkcaldy, right, and he used to do the linoleum, wonderful stuff, so there we are, cute cats, you have to watch or you'll get a ban, there we are, are you a historian, Scotty, to a certain extent, demon, there we are, is that a picture of you in the background, that's me, absolutely, yes, indeed, <laughs> Jordan, there we are, now, who have we got, Fit like and it or oh, fit like who's your do still, sir? Good to hear you with and a good kind of folk with and ah, there we are. I had to go somewhere else, bussy. So there we go. I got sent somewhere else. Uh, Scotty, can you speak Gaelic? Well, uh, Kuashin, eh? <laughs> sure, Susan. Yes, that's it. Shush. You old beat. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very proud of you. You have a good heart. There we are, Gavan. That is very, very kind of you. Age of Cambridge, tell me about your childhood. Very, very interesting childhood. I never actually went on holiday. I used to go on educational trips. <laughs> My parents were big on learning. Bless them, I say. I met you when you had mitts on. Matt, I think I've still got mitts. Hold on till I see. Oh, I'm sure. There's some mitts somewhere here, and we can show you a Scotty McClure mitt. There you are. I will take one for the team, Scotty. So there you are. Thank you very much. Scotty McClure. Hi. Safe handshake. Sorry, it would be an elbow bump. Safe elbow bump. Clean mitts on today. Fantastic. There you are. How about that? I'm pecking us, so that's fine. So there you are. Have you been round the North Coast 500? Where would that take me, Vicky? There we go. Scotty, do you have that picture on your front door? It'll keep the burglars away. Ho, ho, Johnny boy, Johnny. You're a wee comedian. There we are. I want to be you when I grow up. Well, Steve James, I want to be you when I grow up. That's what it's all about, I say. There we are. Now, who have we got? Kevin, I think you should go because that's inappropriate language for Scotty McClure's live stream. Say bye to Kevin, everybody. He's going for being an idiot. There we are. Yeah, you stick to all your junk, Kevin. Uh, so there you are. Can you please? No, 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 no. 
No, you never have that. Ooh, so slow. You need to grow up. What I'll do is I'll ban you out of sympathy. There we are. He's gone, half-witted idiot. Right, there we go. Quality stuff. Get rid of these people. There we, it's all the same line, isn't it? I mean, how very dull are they? These trolls must have an IQ of one. Bye, Kevin. He's gone. How Scotty, Long John here, Long John. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue. Welcome to our Saturday night pop-up just to wish everybody well. Guys, can you all follow me, please? I am so short of followers. I've been lucky if I've got five and a half thousand. We've already been up for three weeks. That should be half a million by now. The IQ of zero they have. Yes, the whole lot between them, Gavin. So if you put all the trolls on Scotty McClure's live together, their IQ would amount to zero. So they were, Scotty, you are the untrollable man. Trolls don't affect you. Massive respect. Of course they don't, Long John. We've had them for 29 years. Last time I followed you, it was a phone-in, says Matt. Excellent stuff. There we are. So what about the single mothers, Scotty? Well, what about the single mothers? They need to keep their hand on their hip knee. So there we are. Fantastic. Follow me, guys, please. Can I have 10 people follow right now? There we go. And for sharing, share, 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 share. Wonderful. Now, I'm just going to have a sip of the Errol Grey. Ah, there's somebody asking, do you like Thailand? I've never, ever been. Poor Thailand. I think they're having a tough time at the moment. Scotty, wish me luck tomorrow. Good luck for tomorrow. Scotty, have you ever been to Ardentini? I went there with the school some weeks. Sid James died in 1976. Johnny boy, or the hills to Ardentini, just to see my body genie, Harry Lauder. So there we are. Declan, you might as well give up now, chum. Yeah, I mean, thinking you can operate at that level on the world's top TikTok live. You're mad. So they are going to grow up. Uh, Scotty, have you tried any mentions of beer? I don't drink alcohol. You missed my message. That's okay. No problem at all. Same with you, John Douglas. You need to go and, uh, oh, no, you don't. You're talking to him. So there you are. Um you're hard to get logged on to. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Do you play Fortnite? Only once a week, dude. So there you are. Any chance of a TikTok dance? Of course there is. We're ready. <laughs> okay. What about that? Was that not a belter? There we are. Hi, greetings from Brazil. Brazil, where the nuts come from? We love it. Poor old Brazil's having a tough time. We send love to Brazil. See, si, see. Si. So there we are. You're the best. You're the best. Absolutely. Amelia, dinky do. Can I get a higher? Says Latchwell. That was a great dance. I thought so, Brad. I think uh, my dancing's coming on a treat. So there we are. Cut, go and grow up and don't be such an idiot. So there we are. Uh, Ross says he's a Tory. You're a Tory, Ross. Well, you know, each to their own. I don't uh, attack anybody of any political party. I'm apolitical myself, but if you're a Tory, then that's your business, Ross. Good luck with it. So there we go. What have we got here? Uh, how's the COVID-19 going there? I hope it's almost gone. Um, so absolutely, yes, indeed. This man's accent is so good, says Liddy's. Uh, have you had dinner yet? No, I had a late lunch, Daniel. So I shall just have a small dinner. You know what they say in Spain? Breakfast like a king. Lunch like a soldier and supper like a homeless. There you are. So what did you have for tea? Well, I just had afternoon tea. So just a small slice of walnut cake and uh, lots and lots lashings of, of, of builder's tea. Everyone has their affliction, Ross. It can be sorted with some education, says Matt. So there you are, Matt. So there's Matt's comment on your political persuasion. 
Uh, hello, hope you're okay. Natalie, thank you very much. It's my birthday, says Sophie. Happy birthday to Sophie. There we go. Please say hi to John. I will, Jackie. No problem at all. Walnut cake is nice. So there we are. Um, if you could speak to your 10-year-old self for a minute, what would you say to him? I would say to him, can you show me how to work everything on TikTok, please, so that I get it right? Yes. Scotty, we're going live at 9 p.m. Well, Long John, I've still got some work to do. So um, we'll pop up for now and see how the evening goes, I say. Absolutely. You are from Scotland? Um, yes, there's definitely a bit of a Scot in me, I think. So there we are. What do you think about Mike Tyson fighting again? Well, he's not fighting me. Um, so there we are. Uh, what have we got here? Your views on Gaza? He was a wonderful footballer in his day. I love your hat. Scotty, you don't drink alcohol. So there you are. But you saw big Eric at the Golf Inn. No, you did not, Johnny boy. So there you are. Stop talking nonsense. What you mean is Big Eric used to help you. <laughs> mm. My mum said you're wonderful, says Benson. Thank you, Benson. Appreciate it. Uh, so there we go. Favourite supermarket. We'll try to do the local shops. The fog in the town is all mine, all mine. Absolutely. So who have we got here? Your background is moving. It's very moving. Uh, you know, and the more I go into it and tell you about it, the more you would be moved. Uh, so there we are. Let's drink until it goes down. Let's drink in a pub. Or let's not bother drinking alcohol at all, Gideon. Because I gave up about seven years ago and uh, thoroughly appreciate it. It's amazing. I get so many um, more things done. So there we are. Dinky do from Liverpool. I want to buy you a pint. Well, we'll maybe have an orange juice. So there we are. Absolutely. Now, who have we got here? Hello, Scotty. Love chatting with you. Thunder Firefly, Dinky Do. Absolutely. And uh, I don't in, uh, drink alcohol anymore, but I love coffee. I don't drink coffee. I haven't had coffee now, Gavin, for about 40 years, I think, was my last coffee. Absolutely, that tea's gorgeous, so I have to say, thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, who have we got here? Here's Niall, dinky-doo, thanks for following, Niall, very much appreciated. Guys, can you all follow Scotty McClue live on the live, please? We're very short of followers. We've got thousands upon thousands of viewers, but very short on followers. We've been up for about three weeks now, and we're lucky if we've got five and a half thousand followers. That should be 50,000. Half a million. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, dinky do. The search in Alex. Oh, was Harry some? Oh, I know exactly who it was. I know exactly who it was, Thunder Firefly. Now, guys, this is a discussion we had earlier in a pop-up about ice cold in Alex. The Sarge was, was Harry someone. Yes, I know exactly who that was. Also loved Jack Hawkins, another wonderful actor, The Cruel Sea, with Donald Sindon as his number one. Uh, I like a point of Guinness the odd time, but I don't, I, I drink tea like no tomorrow. There we are. The weight of a pint of Guinness is to be right down the very south of Ireland. I'm talking down at the Ring of Kerry or Clonakilty, out in the country, and you go into the local pub and you say, point of Guinness, please. And then you say, I've just got a little bit of shopping to do next. Oh, yes, of course. And off you go. And then you come back. User 125 will just dump you for being an idiot. We don't need halfwits like you on here. We're not all age two. There we go. Bye-bye. There we are. Lovely. Um, Yes, and then you come back about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes later, and it should have settled. Is that not just amazing? So there we are. Guys, remember, if you're coming on here and you put something inappropriate, you will just disappear, gone, finished, end of game over for you.
So there we are. You have something on your hat. I do. It's a Scotty McClue badge. Can you see it there? There we are. Fantastic. Scotty, I'm called after my Uncle John from Kilmacomb. He died in Stavanger just at the end of the war. Now, my father was in Stavanger, and uh, <clears throat> I think it was Stavanger that you had the Shetland bus. Was that right? Am I right? So there we are. Can you say hi to Claire? And Jordan, please. Claire, of course I can. He's behind you, says Jimo. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. There we are. Hello, boys and girls. There we are. I can't drink too much tea. I'll end up in the bathroom all the time. Well, so what, Gavan? Do you know what I mean? As long as the bathroom's there and you're not uh, getting knighted or something like that in the middle. Hi, can you please say get well soon to Elizabeth? Uh, as I was in a serious horse fall on Thursday, Elizabeth, I'm so sorry to hear that, and I send you strength and blessings. Can you say happy birthday? No, I can't, Gandhi. In fact, Gandhi, I think you should go. And there's nobody of that name is not watching my live, so you are a fibber. Yes, Gandhi. Right, Gandhi's gone, guys. There we are, fantastic. We like that. Now, excellent. Away he goes. There we are. Uh, now, are we related, Scotty McClue? Well, who knows? God save the UK. Well, the UK, I don't know it's a question of God. I think Brexit has put it asunder. So there you are. Because of Brexit, because we've left the EU and three countries that was against their wish, um, I think you'll find that Brexit will end up with economic annihilation and the, um, the fragmentation of the UK. So uh, there we are. if we hadn't had Brexit, we could probably have saved the UK. What are your pronouns, Egg Fairy? We're way, way, way beyond all that. That's old-fashioned now. That's so last century. Uh, you don't ask anybody their pronouns. We're all inclusive. Everybody matters on here. Everybody. So we don't need pronouns. So there we are. We don't have to identify ourselves by some sort of narrow way. So there we are. Are you grandpa in my pocket? Thank you very much. Guess what you shh? Can we all be quiet? Infinity wants a bit of quiet. They are infinity. I've told them all, so they should be quite quiet now. So there we go. My hat sustained the damage. Uh, so there we are. No, no, the UK's, I think, had its day. Brexit was the final nail in the coffin. You seem like a man with so much wisdom, pronouns are what we associate with. He, she, all that, of course. Um, I know all that, but we don't need them on here because we're ahead of the game. Are you with me? So there we are. Do you like Harry Styles? Yes, I do. Uh, did like 70s music, middle of the road. So there you are, absolutely. Well, we're not going to that, Johnny boy, because that's people's business. So there we are. Even as a Scott-Canadian, even I as a Scott-Canadian yank. What a lovely, lovely mixture. Can you do your strongest Scottish accent? Well, Kiko, that would de depend on where it was from. <clears throat> so there are so many strong Scottish accents. So I might have this from Caithness, see, and then I might come down and be a, a bit more Inverness, and then I might go and be a bit Aberdeen, oh, fat like I, oh, but you are, and uh, there we are, that sort of stuff. So I might be very Edinburgh, or I might be very Glasgow, yes, or we can show you at least there. Uh, <laughs> you see, so, or it could be free five. So it just depends. Change and then, eh? So it just depends what you mean by a strong Scottish accent. Hello, fellow Scotsman, how are you today? It says pain. Hello, pain. Wonderful stuff. The har har says S N P. So there we are. Uh, you're wrong. Both England and Wales voted to leave. Um, you know, well, Terry, I wouldn't say I'm wrong. I think Wales was on the cusp, were they not? But certainly Scotland and Northern Ireland did not. 
So, uh, so two and two. Uh, so there you are. So that's anyway. It doesn't matter because it's done now, and it's caused huge problems for us uh, because they gave the ordinary folk a say. Oh, how mad is that? We've had two referenda, and both of them have failed the people. They've benefited the politicians, but they've failed the people. Do you watch TV often? Uh, not unless I'm on it, Daniel. TV is really for being on. But um, I'm not on it very often these days at the moment. So I do watch a bit, but just the odd soap opera. Evening, Scotty. Serious question. Do you think Alex Salmond become an SMS? B. Uh, well, yes, I mean, I actually was wondering, once all the stuff uh, about Alex blew over, um, I was thinking, what about having him as the president of Scotland, not the head of state, that's the Queen, but the president of Scotland, you see what I mean? But they didn't get to him in time, or they didn't think of that. And he's starting his own party now. But it's an independence party, so it should just add to the mix. This live will become a Scotty movement and a very big share to become part of it. MSN, you say lovely things. That would be nice. But we need everybody following Scotty McClure, which means everybody has to share. What Scottish football team do you support? Oh, so many of them. Aberdeen, Dundee, Ross County. Um, what else have we got? Sterling Albion, St. Johnston, uh, Rangers, Celtic, Hearts, Hibs, Queen of the South, Morton, Monoton. Um What else have we got? Oh, just, I'm just Partick Thistle. I just support so many. Scottish football teams, the Rangers and the Celtic. There we are. Do Fife again, OMG. Ah, what do you mean, do Fife again? For you, who are you talking to? There you go, absolutely. Change your advert key then. Scott Flew Fighters in the USAF, freedom in the words of A. Wallace. Yes. So, Fighters in the USAF. A. Wallace, well, not W. Wallace, because I don't think there were many fighters in the USAF when William Wallace was alive in the 1300s. I fee five spawn, mate. Har har. Thanks a lot, London Lynx, eh? <laughs> Didn't know there were uh, Jamaicans in Scotland from the accents. Oh, absolutely. Scotland has huge connections with the West Indies from the sugar trade in Greenock, you see. Yes, absolutely. What type of aircraft was featured in 12 o'clock high? Now, Thunder Firefly, you're trying to catch me. Was it First World War stuff? Tell me if it was First World War and I'll give you some aircraft. It's just when you've said that 12 o'clock high. Yes, do that. Do Fife again, please. Says Sophie. Sophie, can Gondi stop? There you go. Please, could you say hi to Bethany, please? And, uh, Sophie, stop asking me to do Fife. Are you talking Warmat or East Weems or St. Andrews? There you are. Can you do Fife again, please? How many Fortnite wins do you have? We we'll only play once a week. A referenda are never a good idea, says Jess Winter. Jess Winter, how lovely to have you with us. I haven't seen you for some time. Privileged to have you back, by the way. So there we are. Dinky do. Scotty, I loved just a boys game, Dancer and Old Glatty Bella, made in Greenock. Yes, I'll tell you another cracker you want to see made in Greenock. Danny Boyle's leaving. Paul Young's in it as the schoolmaster. Jerry Slevin's the head teacher or headmaster as it was in those days. Alex Norton is in it. Absolutely outstanding. Just a superb cast. Get yourself down there. Alex McCrindle. Remember Alex as well. There's just some great actors in it. And it's all set in Greenock. I think it's the co-op in Roxburgh Street. You'll get it there. And it's life at a Catholic school in 1960 up the top of Greenock. I know the whole thing so well. 
<coughs> it's just wonderful. Scotland will be under English rule forever and a day. Not if it, it's, it's not under English rule, Terry. England is under Scottish rule, technically. The monarchy rules uh, Scotland and England, and the Scots took over the English crown in 1603. So Scotland's been ruling England from a, that point of view, from a, um, a constitutional point of view, if you like. But the parliaments, it's the parliaments, and the Westminster Parliament has been sucking the economic life out of Scotland for years. So there we are. <clears throat> uh, please forgive me for asking, is it just you there or is your wife there as well? It's just me and that's the dog. So there you are. Although I did love the dog very much, but the dog was not my wife. <laughs> now, Spider, what's Spider saying? Dinky do. How's it going? XX Logan. What we'll do with you is just dump you because you're a dafty. There you go. We ain't be daft somewhere else. <laughs> I don't think you'll be. You'll be spoiled for choice. <laughs> now we ain't talk nonsense. Scotland doesn't have a president, no, but I think we could have created one for Alex Salmond for everything he's done for the country. Sophie loves it. Can you do a five fox cent a hen? S Sophie, I'm not doing that. I'm telling you, you're joking. You're joking me, asking me to do five for the time. See, so I'm not doing it. Dunfermline, do it. Aye, not your broadcast, says. I love your broadcast. Thank you, do. Uh, there's somebody being political, the SNP all the way. <clears throat> Alex Salmon, could Scotch independence be splitting the SNP vote? No, I don't think so, just Winder, you see, because he's splitting it between another independence party. So you've got two independence parties, and then when it comes to the referendum, there may well be a mandate there. You see, clocks go forward tonight. So there you get your kip in now. No partying, pal. Okay, Johnny boy. <laughs> Just whatever you say. So there we are. Other than Simon Surgeon, are there any other Scots around named after fish? Don't tell them, Pike. There we are. See what I just did there? I support Celtics. Good for you, Motion. So there you are. We don't mind. Mon the hoops. But I've then also got to say, we are the people. Do you see what I mean? Just just in the interest of balance. Your super smart 80 IQ, 164 IQ. So there you are. So double what you thought, Spider Frankie, but thank you for saying. Uh, what about West Ham United? Yes, absolutely. There's West Ham United. And um, what else have we got? Um, there's uh, Millwall Central United. And uh, all these, all these wonderful teams I can't remember that will never be forgotten. <coughs> Dunfermline are beating Dundee. The now let's go. Dundee, I was born in Dundee. I know I was in Dundee. I was staring. I had a pay, I had a pay. So there we are. What we got? I support Hibernian. I remember them, Brian. Good for you. Excellent stuff. Are we blast from the past? So there we are. <clears throat> no, I don't believe with your ha ha. Big Scotty McClue, fit you say in the new Andy Gay. I'm just chaffing a warfare and just gain every day a bit crack. Ah, hi. There we are. Hello from the Isle of Man. We love the Isle of Man, absolutely. And the big wheel and uh, Douglas. The Isle of Man Steam Packet Company, anybody remember Mona's Isle and the Manx Man, the Lady of Man? So there we are, all these wonderful, wonderful ships, big turbine steamers. <laughs> Can you say hi to Crichton? Hail, hail, says Ghost the Reaper. You're spot on all afternoon from about two o'clock. Hail. Hail, and then we got a wee bit of clear sky, and I managed to get the dish towels out. Scotty, where are you free? Hello from the Isle of Man. We love it. Fantastic. My stepdad flew B-17s on the 8th AF, 12 o'clock, high based on this. The B-17 bomber. 
Yes, I know what you're talking about now. Fantastic. <clears throat> Thank you for that, Thunder Firefly. So there we are. So it wasn't First World War. I was thinking of... <clears throat> oh, I'll tell you what I think I was thinking about. Dawn Patrol with Errol Flynn and David Niven. First World War. I say, oh boy, I'm pointing the wrong way. Can you name the three V bombers? Oh, my goodness. You're asking a big one there, Grape Star. Well, the Vulcan would be one, the Delta Wings. <clears throat> the Vulcan was certainly one of them. And what else did we have as Deltas? There we are. The Vulcan was certainly the big, the Vulcan bomber, the Delta Wing. And I'm just trying to think what else we had. Um, the Canberra. Was it the Canberra? Was that another one? And uh, the Canberra and the Vulcan. And uh, what else did we have as a Delta Wing? There we are. The Canberra and the Vulcan. Leave it with me. I'll see if it comes back to me. So there you are. I got two, did I? Do tell me. There we are. Thanks for sending all these TikToks. World War Two. Got you? Yes, the, B, the Flying Fortress was the B-17, wasn't it? Flying Fortress. There we are. My great-grandfather was in the Black Watch. Wonderful, wonderful regiment. Absolutely, the Black Watch. There we are. Vote Scottish Tory, Terry Benny. Yes, we'll not go political on here, I don't think. Aha, sorry. Not at all, Sophie. No, no trouble at all. Uh, so there we go. My great-grandfather, yes, we got that, the Black Watch, absolutely. My wife's dad was a tail gunner in a lank. What a brave, brave, brave man. I take it he survived the war and uh, had your um, your wife uh, was born after that. Am I correct? Uh, so there you are. But what a brave man. Tail gun on the link. Absolutely frightening, frightening job, but wonderful, wonderful. My wife was in labor for 24 hours with my first child. So we called it a day. Well, there we go. Yes, I had a friend, and uh, I don't know if she was big, but she was born on the 21st of January and the 22nd, and I bet the 23rd. God, are you still on since this morning? You don't need to call me God. There is only one true living God, Andy. I am Scotty McClue. But they were a bit take. No, I'm not uh, still on since the morning. Good evening, sir. I hope you have a fantastic day. Hi from Australia, says XX Logan Dinky Do XX. How lovely to have you with us. Oh, right there, par. Par. I think you mean pal, you sir. Yes, wonderful stuff. Do you remember? Yes, I remember these things. Uh, big up yourself, granddad of the North London. Mum's champion. Are you talking to your granddad user? We'll let you get on with that. So there we go. Can I have some TikTok coins? Uh, no, that's not me saying. That was somebody else asking. So there we are. Uh, the hard hard. We don't know any of these things. Oh, my gosh. I love you. So there we are. Thank you very much for that. That's very kind of you. So there we are. Now, lots and lots of information. Gosh, we're way behind. Have you been to the Isle of Man? No, I've not been to the Isle of Man, but I'm very, very well known in the Isle of Man. And the reason for that is I used to broadcast on Red Rose Radio. And uh, everybody used to listen, particularly in the summer, because they got it clear as a bell in the Isle of Man. And when I walked on board a television, we covered the Isle of Man. So I would meet people in, say, Glasgow or Edinburgh, over from the Isle of Man for a holiday, and they would say, hello, how are you? We love seeing you every night on the telly. And I had not got a clue who they were. I thought the telly can't be seen up here, you know, in Glasgow and Edinburgh. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Morton till I die, says Grumpy. Well, Grumpy, you don't know. Morton might change, but how fantastic are they? You know, I mean, tremendous, tremendous stuff. Yes, indeed. And I remember the wonderful man 
that stepped in at the end. Am I quite correct? So there we are. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, who have we got here? Uh, yes, Mr. Ray. Remember Mr. Ray? I've no idea what you're saying, but I like you. User, don't worry about that. The Scots are very, very, very clever people. And sometimes it's difficult to understand where they're coming from. You need to run to keep up, but you'll get there. Don't you worry about that. Shared the live. Good day from West Australia. Tasmanian. Are you from Tasmania or are you from Perth in West Australia? What's the river? Is it the river? Is it the Swan River or the Black Swan? The Swan, I think, in, uh, in Perth, Perth, West Australia. There we are. Fantastic. Everybody share the video. I know you're a very busy man, but I'd love a Zoom conversation with you about war films. Thunder Firefly, what a lovely thing. But feel free to discuss them on here. You know, we, we enjoy that. I do love, as I said to you earlier, when I'm watching um, Where Eagles Dare, and as I say, I saw it when it came out. Was it around, when did it come out? Was it maybe 1972? Two or something, 71, 70, maybe 1970, can't remember. But when it came out, we saw it in the pictures. You went to the pictures to see these big movies. Uh, and then it was a long, long time before they were on the telly. And um, I just, I love, uh, you know, I love the do, 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 the start of Where Eagles Dare. And I'm still on the edge of my seat watching it, and I know what's happening. So I, I, you're never tired of these movies. They're just fabulous. And I've got the DVDs. I've got the videos. I've got all that sort of stuff. But I still watch it if it's on the telly. Anybody else do that? Tony, you need to just go and grow up. Okay. Uh, loving it, says what a kebab. Um, what do you think of the Tories taking? Oh, well, we'll not go into that, Jas Winder, because, you know, that's a legal matter, and I do not comment on legal matters. Scotty, did you ever go abroad on holiday? Not very much. I went to Austria or Österreich. Uh, I went to uh, up to Fuschel am See. Um, up in the hills above Salzburg in the mountains, stunningly beautiful. Went to the church that The Sound of Music was filmed in. I went to Holland. I went to Amsterdam. Went to Den Haag. Uh, I've been to Portugal, landed at Faro, and stayed at, uh, where would I have stayed at? Um, Fortaventura. Have I got that right? I can't remember. So long ago, I went to Crete, stayed with my lovely family there. Quite stunningly beautiful. I could live there any time. Fantastic. Just sit there and chill. Thank you, Scotty. Hello from Newcastle and Tyne. Davy McClure, it's lovely to have you from Newcastle and Tyne. Where are you from? Are you, are you from Wells End? You know what? Where's Wallace from? All that stuff, eh? There we are, unpressurized. The B-17 unpressurized, the B-29 pressurized. So the B-29 could fly higher, or could they fly the same height, but one had to carry oxygen. Lols is misty. There we are, fantastic, eh? Newcastle upon chain. You have the most heavy accent ever. I know I have to carry it around with me. You don't need to tell me. Aces High was World War I. Yeah, but also so was Aces High. Loved it with the uh, the Fokker, uh, the Fokker aircraft and um, all that. Aces High and uh, who else did, who was in it? Maximilian Schnell, is that right? Um, I'm just trying to think about that. Uh, now, who have we got here? Uh, oh, that's a boxing question. I don't know anything about boxing. I only have one boxing day a year, the day after Christmas. The Victor Vulcan. The Victor Vulcan V. Was that the third one? No, I got the Vulcan. The Vulcan, the Victor, and the Vampire. Ah, just Winda. Thank you. So I was wrong about the Canberras. 
What were the Canberras like? Were they not bombers as well? So there we are, the vanguard. The, so wait a minute. The Victor Vulcan. The Vulcan, the Victor, and the Vampire. The Vanguard says Thunderfly. I only knew the Vanguard as a battle cruiser built in uh, 1946, launched 47, took the royal family to South Africa, came back, wasn't used very much and was scrapped in the early 1960s over at Fast Lane. And I used to see her towering above the road on my way past. I never meant, so there we are, Callum, what are you talking about? Scotty, were you about when you didn't require a driving license? No, but I think my father was, although he had one. He always did everything properly, the old boy, you know what I mean? But uh, I don't think you needed one at that time. The, and if you watch how people drive, a lot of them in the 30s and 50s, especially the little semaphore indicators that flapped up from the side of your car, and you had to do hand signals, See when do a hand signal, you had to put your hand out the window and do that. <laughs> put your hand up when you're going straight ahead. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Are you from Scotland? Ah, oh, thanks again. I like your voice. What are your pronouns, Evie? We never ever ask anybody pronouns. We're miles ahead of all that. This is a very modern TikTok. You know, so everybody is included here. We don't need pronouns because we're all included. There we are, Gaz William goes um, up the provost. So there we are. I think you've missed out the T there, haven't you? What you were saying was up the provost. Uh, Scotty, did you fight in the war? No, I made peace in the war. So there we are. Uh, my father was in it and my grandfathers were in the First World War. Scotty, thoughts on Scotland qualifying for the Euros? Excellent stuff. We want them to do that. The unknown, you need to just go and grow up. Realize that you operate at a very, 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 very low level and uh, that you are a wee troll. And uh, so be very, very ashamed of yourself, unknown. And um, think about what you're saying. I won't give you a lifetime ban because some good might come of you. You might grow up and come and join us here. There are Guyland Sutherland Highlanders. And Dad's side, the RNI, know the Argyles very, very well. Mad Mitch, and he was certainly far from mad. Lieutenant Colonel Colin Campbell Mitchell, fantastic guy. And uh, I knew them all. There we are. My great-grandfather was William Martin of the Scots Guards. Now, they're a very good regiment, the Scots Guards. There we go. It's wonderful. I must tell you a lovely story. <laughs> The Lord Chamberlain at the time of Lady Diana's wedding to Prince Charles was one of the loveliest men in God's earth. He was Sir Charles MacLean. So there we are. Was it Sir Charles Hector Fitzroy MacLean? Can't remember, but he was Sir Charles MacLean. And he was the Lord Chamberlain who organized the royal wedding along with, I think, the Earl Marshal. So that's the stuff. The Earl Marshal is usually the Duke of Norfolk, you see. Well, is the Duke of Norfolk. So anyway, uh, Lord Maclean was from Duart in Mull in Scotland. Any of you who have crossed from Oban to, uh, to Craig Newer, the boat halfway will pass Duart Castle, right? So he was Sir so Charles Maclean of Duart. When I was a wee boy, he was the chief scout, and he came to our scout camp, and we met him. Lovely guy. Anyway. Chips. Chips was his nickname. Everybody knew him as Chips. Evening Chips, all the rest of it. I knew him as Lord McLean. <laughs> so there we are. And uh, anyway, it was just, it was, it, as I say, he was a delightful man. They were a lovely, lovely couple. And the Home Secretary was Willie Whitelaw, right? <clears throat> the Home Secretary was Willie Whitelaw. And the Archbishop of Canterbury was Robert Runcie. So you've got the Lord Chamberlain, the Home Secretary, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, all involved in organizing the royal wedding. What did they have in common? They were all officers in the Scots Guards together. Woo! <laughs> Is that not fabulous? So they knew each other inside out. So there we are. Right, there's a wee story for you. Don't tell me I don't tell you a story. 
So there we are. So, Linny, we don't need anything about pronouns on here because we are so modern. So there we are. Well done in the rugby yesterday. Brilliant, says Lee. Good man, Lee. Who have we got here? Sorry if you're speaking about me. No, no, not at all. But think about it. You know, don't do stuff like that. So I missed the joke. You're welcome. If you're going to stay with us and grow up, that'd be great. So there we are. Dinky do. It's him on the badge. Yes, definitely Scotty McClure. So there we are. The Lord Chamberlain. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. A wonderful appointment. So there we go. What age are you? Very difficult to know because I wasn't born. You see, I was knitted. My grandmother knitted me. Some people say she dropped a couple of stitches. But, um, and I'm a time traveler. Re Alan Cuthbertson, earlier conversation, was in Faulty Towers. No, I don't think so, Thunder Firefly. Oh, yes. Was he a guest in Faulty Towers? He certainly wasn't the major, I can tell you that. Hello from the Isle of Man. We love the Isle of Man. Kaya Ora from New Zealand. Kaya Ora. Used to love that. That was the only juice you got. This is, this is Linda. Wait to hear this. This is so boring. I'm not going to lie, but I love listening to your voice. Now, Linda, you're only bored because you need to get yourself a wider education and a little bit of knowledge and understanding and try and stretch your IQ, you will be bored because it does operate at a very high level on here. But, uh, you know, and you're always going to be bored. You know, but I'm glad you like listening to Scotty McClue, but you're always going to be bored until you catch up, catch up. Think big, Linda. Yeah, absolutely. I once told my mother I was bored, and she gave me a yellow duster, told me to get on with cleaning the house. Oh, which clan? I'm a Kalhun. Well, you'll be a Kohun of Luss. And if you're ever over in Scotland, I don't know if you're in Scotland, Leek, I would imagine, call it, oh, it's Lee, it's not Leek, it's Leekirk. Fantastic. So if you're uh, in Scotland and you're uh, able to get access to Loch Lomond Golf Course, I think you have to be a member, but the clubhouse it's a great big Georgian mansion. That was the home of the Cahoons of Luss. A lovely family, actually. And the daughter, Sir Ivor Cahoon's daughter, yes, was it Sir Ivor Ross Cahoon? His daughter uh, was married to the last Duke of Argyll, whose funeral I had the privilege of attending. So there we are. Uh, Leona says, Linda, he's so educational. We try to be, but Linda might be used to what we call um, instant gratification on media. So she's not able to just listen and process. Do you see what I mean? She just wants to say, is it funny or not? Because I'm moving on. I'm strolling on. You know, that sort of idea. <clears throat> but give her due. She hasn't strolled on. Do you remember a comedian called Mr. A.B.? He was my uncle. I do, Gary. Mr. A.B. was at Radio Clyde. Great guy. And did he not uh, have businesses as well? Great guy, Mr. A.B. Shout out to uh, the Isle of Man. Dinky-doo, we love the Isle of Man. Dinky-doo. Now... Uh, can you give my condolences? Yes, we can. Absolutely. Uh, do a handstand. Right. Are you ready? Oh, I can't hold it any longer. OMG, that's me. That's you, Linda. Yes, absolutely, my dear. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Yes, listen to what I'm saying and you will pick up the information. The movie Reach to the Sky inspired me to become a fighter pilot. JD, how fantastic. I once had a guy on the radio, on the phone in, and he told me he was a fighter pilot. So I said, talk us through the takeoff procedure for the Spitfire. And he was, oh, well, I will in a minute. But um, I said, no, 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 please do. Yeah, because he was an absolute fibber. And I know the takeoff procedure for the Spitfire. And uh, he got it very wrong. He actually would have crashed and broken the Spitfire. So there were a shout out to Sonny Salt Coats. Absolutely. 
Yes, yesterday I identified as a single bottle of red wine. And today you identified as a sear heed. There we are. Dinky do, Scotty. Cahoon were my grandfather's family, the Cahoons of Luss. And Helen's Borough on the River Clyde in Scotland, the West Coast, on the um, north side of the River Clyde, Helen's Borough, was called after Helen Cahoon of Luss. How about that? Have you been to Crichton Castle? Yes, I know Crichton Castle very, very well. There we are. That's so true. I'm exactly like that. You are, Linda. You're a scroller. You want instant gratification. But you're not alone. Millions are like you. But it means that you're not really increasing your knowledge. When did you last look at somebody's TikTok thing? Well, I never knew that before, but I certainly do now. You see? Ask yourself how many TikToks have you done that? Scotty, what happened to your hand? Oh, that, that's psoriasis. P-S-A-O-R-I-S-I-S. -S. It's genetic. It's a present from my late father, who was such a lovely, lovely man that I don't mind. And uh, you can't catch it, so don't worry, you won't get it. Uh, but it's genetic, and or it's hereditary, I should say. But it is genetic, and you would need to start mucking about with the T-genes, uh, turning them off and things, which is very dangerous. So I'll just live with it. Do you know what I mean? Shout out. Uh, no, Chris, you need to really, really grow up. You really, really need to grow up, Chris. Do you seriously want to operate at that very, very low gutter level for the rest of your life? Or can you do better, Chris? Have a think about it. You're on the top TikTok, on TikTok, the top talk show. And it's live, and it's all happening. Yep. And uh, that's the very best that you can come up with, telling me a few whoppers and hoping I might say something uh, politically incorrect. Not happening. Do you understand? Okay. Enough for poor old Chris at the moment. He didn't expect that. Uh, I won't ban you just now. Hello from Karen in Nova Scotia. We love it. Are you in Halifax in Nova Scotia, New Scotland? Yes, he was on Radio Clyde. He was also on the TV and the comedians. Yes, Mr. Raby. Absolutely, Gary. He was a great guy. There we are. Do you give advice? Well, I've given you some advice, Linda, and it's excellent advice, but you can decide, like all good advice, whether or not to take it. Okay, so don't worry, not a problem. What a cracking lad, dinky-doo, dinky-doo. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Um, you've got, Francis, you've got a very unacceptable handle. So we'll just dump you. There we go. Francis is gone, guys, just for having an unacceptable handle. What a shame. There we go. What have we got here? And now... My friend, <coughs> Linda says, my niece just came out as lesbian and I'm not sure what to do. My sister completely doesn't agree. Well, Linda, can I advise you two things? One, uh, unless you are gay yourself, you don't need to do anything, Right. So there you go. It's uh, You don't need to do a thing because it's none of your business. Your sister might not like it, but she'll have to live with it because otherwise she could lose her daughter, right? So she needs to think very, very carefully about that. Are you related to Winston Churchill? No, I'm not, but I know people who are, or I did know people who are. So there you are, Winston Churchill. What a character he was. Good evening. Hope you're well. He was half American, you know. His mother was an American. Um, I as well. Did you? Oi, oi, Scotty boy. I know someone who owns a Lancaster bomber. Charlie, that will be worth a fortune. And if I remember right, the Lancaster was an Avro aircraft, AV row. And uh, I think they were built at uh, in Manchester, weren't they? And the Lancaster had four uh, Merlins. Is that right? 
Rolls Royce Merlins in it, the engines. You're a very good man with a good heart. I'm so proud to call you my brother. Gavan, I thank you. I am proud to call you my brother. So there we are. Jesus loves you. He died for your sins so you can be forgiven. Jesus does love us all. I think he dwells among us. In his risen power, he is no longer dead. He is risen. So there we are. Absolutely. And what if you've never sinned? So there we are. Who have we got here? Which person from history who has passed would you like to reincarnate to interview? Well, I would like to ask Jesus to come to the studio uh, so that we could get some chat. I would also like to interview Mary and Joseph just about, you know, the news and how it happened. I would like to interview the Magi. The three wise men, you know, in Spain, the three wise men didn't arrive on Christmas Day. They arrived 12 days later after Jesus' birth. They followed the guiding star, Stella Ducti Lumini in Latin. And the Magi arrived 12 days later. So in Spain, the children opened their presents on the 6th of January from the wise men, the presents are from the wise men. Do you get it? Do you see? Isn't that fabulous? I know it seems very simple. How is lockdown treating you? Well, the, uh, it's lovely that we can pop up and uh, have a chat. Have you been to Queensy Bump? Yes, I know it very, very well. Yes, you head out the M8, uh, past the fort, and then you turn off and you are right there. Take a quick left, and that's you into the Queensy Bump estate. Is that right? So there we go. Uh, Scotty, you are fabulous, says Huba. There we are. Uh, now, what do we got here? You're very educated, you know. Well, no, we try to do our best. I am learning all the time, soaking up knowledge and understanding. Scotty, you enjoy a few fish suppers. The Onsfield Cafe in Greenock recommended. Love it. Always love the Onsfield Cafe. Up by the Jack Coyer Church in Orangefield. And there used to be Orangefield Baptist as well. So there we are. World peace, end poverty, and immortality. How interesting. There we are. We'll have a think about that. Uh, can you say hi to Max? I can, Max. Yes, indeed. Hi, how are you? Well, very well. Guys, have you all followed me? Very important. How long have we been doing this? I'm so proud of my Scots name, Crichton. Well, there we are. Sadly, a Crichton Stewart passed away this week. Johnny Dumfries, the racing driver, was the Earl of Dumfries. And then when his father, John Butte, passed, he became the Marquis of Butte. And I'm very sorry to hear that he passed away this week, and he would be a Crichton Stewart. Am I right? Yes. Uh, with royal connections in Scotland. Uh, so there we go. Oh, very good. Crabs, did you hear about the protein that went on a religious journey? It visited the Sistine Chapel. Very clever stuff. Very clever. I am a true, I'm in Truro, Nova Scotia. I'm so in love with Scotland. Bela, what a lovely thing to say. We love Nova Scotia. We love you people because you are actually Scottish. There we are. Thanks for saying that. He was a great man. Absolutely, Gary. Super chap. So they were lovely to hear about him as well. Tell me, what's the show about, please? Neil, the show is about you and all the other wonderful people on TikTok. That's what the show is about. We are just having a chat, you know. I'm back, and we touch on all sorts of interesting things. Uh, where are you from? I am from the universe. What's your opinion on the SNP and allegations? Forget all that stuff just now. That's in the hands of experts. All right, put that out your mind now. Um, there's, it should never have been politically motivated. You know, I mean, that was appalling, that vote of no confidence thing. Shocking behavior. Um, because it's actually parliamentary procedure, not politics. 
Right, so there we go. That's what I'm saying. The other party have done themselves terrific damage. So there we go. Uh, we need another Winston these days. Well, I don't know JD. He was a very, very clever man. But people have Brexit has dishonored his memory. Winston Churchill's greatest wish in 1946 was to have a United States of Europe with the UK at its heart and a single European army with a single commander. That was, he was the architect of Europe right at the end of the Second World War. He wanted to go on and move into Russia, but Russia came heading, thundering towards Berlin and nobody would back him there. So there you are. So that's what it was about. And having managed to get ourselves into part of Europe and with our dear friends and allies, Germany, controlling over 30% of the whole market of 510 million people and 28 countries, we just walked away into the wilderness, you know. So there we are. So I don't know about uh, how Winston would fit in. He would be, he will be spinning in his grave over Brexiteers because they've damaged his beloved Britain. Uh, you have Scotty and Scotty Wartooth. Yes, Merlins, GD, thank you. It was Merlins and the Lancasters folk. The S Sunderland was Shorts built in Belfast. Yeah, short Sunderland, and it had Pratt and Whitney's. There you are. A man with a kind heart who should be verified. I thank you, Charlie. I don't know how we go about verification. We'll press on. We need to have people following us. It's Londonderry. Are you telling us you're from Londonderry, or are you saying it's Londonderry as opposed to Derry? I'm so happy. I love history. Gavan, the history is amazing. Can you say hi to my friend? Uh, and pray for them, please. Yes, we can. Derry, says somebody. Jesus, uh, Spider Frank, Jesus was having his last supper, telling his friends he's going to pray, and then he got arrested, and then he dies. He did, and of course it was mob rule, because Judea was uh, a very difficult posting for Pontius Pilate. And uh, he was the governor of Judea, and um, the Romans brought no opposition. So this new man, this Rabboni, this teacher, I'm wondering if that's where Rabbi comes from, teacher. Hey, from Latvia, we love it. Latvia, welcome, welcome, welcome. So nice to have you with us. Lovely. What football team do you support? Oh, purple. I support so many. I could list you them all. Fantastic. Does Winder, she clearly broke protocols and used her power to cover herself. Um, no, no, we don't have any of that drip tropic, so stop making it up. There we go. Were the Magi in Spain taking a siesta on the 24th of December? No, no, they weren't. The Magi were going across the desert by camel train. There we are. And following the guiding star, Stella Ductae Lumini. There we go. Now then. Who have we got here? For those in Newcastle, the joiners' arms still going. Scotty, do you know, yes, bread and wine was the last supper. as a communion, you see. Uh, which was better? Called it the film of the TV series. The film was outstanding. The TV series was much later, and uh, I had a friend who was in it. And, uh, yes, Bernard Hep was the commandant, was that right? The commandant on the television series. David McCallum was in it. Uh, who else was in it? Um, oh, yeah, great, great load of wonderful actors. No, I think, uh, I think actually, um, I think actually I like the film called it. Richard Waters, very funny, with the dummies down the wall. That sort of idea, yes. I think I liked the film. And, uh, of course, who was uh, the wonderful commandant, the senior British officer? The senior British officer was, 
Uh, he was playing Pat Reed, Major Pat Reed, and he was. Oh, tip of my tongue, wonderful actor as well. So there we are. So, Jip Tropic, what are you talking about there? What age are you, Scotty? Uh, indeterminate age, actually. Very difficult to know. Scotty, not seen you in a while. How are you? We are Dinky Doo. R.I.P. Johnny Dumfries. I remember him racing. Wonderful driver. And his father was a lovely man, too, John Butte. Have you been to the Isle of Man? No, but as I say, I'm very well known in it. Winston Churchill would never have let the uh, the UE you mean the EU act the way it has uh, no he would have had a word with them he would have done a deal you see had we not done Brexit had we gone back to the EU we could have got a cracker of a deal so there we are I've been searching for you well lovely to find you you found me Harry yes we're Scots my genes are care -iving. from the Isle of Lewis you're your sucks I can't wait to get there someday. Now, Bula, what you've got, have I said that properly? Bula, there we are. Um, what you'll find is they may have left at the clearances, uh, you know, so, uh, so it's worth looking into your history. You may have already done it. Jim Clark and Jackie Stewart, two of the greatest. I can remember being a boy in school and somebody came in on a Monday and said, Jim Clark's dead. And we were all devastated because racing drivers were our boyhood heroes. Jackie Stewart from Dumbarton. Just still of old buildings there from the 30s, says Gavan. Don't know where you're talking. I didn't expect you on TikTok, Grandad. There we are. I don't think... Um, uh, I've never seen a granddad on TikTok before, so there we are. They're mainly our age, young people. Churchill didn't like the Sikhs, but then again, 52% of Sikhs love Brexit. Yes, well, Churchill uh, didn't like a lot of people. He was quite narrow in uh, a lot of his, his culture. So there we are. And uh, But clever, clever man. So there we go. Thanks for following us, guys. Can everybody follow us? Very important. We're short on followers. I don't think we've been going for three weeks now, and I think we've got about five and a half thousand. That should be 50,000. History is a great way to know your enemy's next move. Well, if you think about it, history tells us where we've been. So that lets us know where we're going, and then we can find out where we are. <laughs> Our history, we can find out where we are and then we can work out where we're going. Scotty, big Kev from Nottingley on call, doing traffic management. We love you, Kev. Think you do. Thank you very much. So there we are. Who have we got here? Thank you for following, guys. Can everybody follow us? Scotty, do you remember Freddie Fletcher from Greenwich? Yes, I knew Freddie. Um, he had a shop at the West Station, if I remember. And then he ended up, was it running Newcastle United? Am I right? Have I got that right? We can't hear you. I can't hear you. We can't hear you, boss. So there we go. Where are you from? You should be able to hear me. I don't think anything's muted. So there we are. I think everything's fine. Can everybody hear us, guys? Can you hear me here? It's only here. I love to go and see the old castles. I'm from Annan. Do you know where I... I know Annan like the back of my hand. Lovely, lovely part of the world, of course. Do you know Butt Street in Annan? Down at the bus garage there. Fantastic. And then you turn down to the school, and then you had all the fish uh, stuff there. Fantastic. And I remember the, uh, the Annan Observer, was it? Was that the newspaper? Never heard of you, says Angley. Ah, well, you'll have to do your homework, won't you, you poor soul? Uh, so there we are. Now, who have we got? Uh, shout out, what's the problem? Angley, if you're going to cheek up, I might have to just bin you. In fact, you are cheeking up. You've crossed the line, Angel Eyes. Off you go for a lifetime ban. Good luck with uh, being silly. Right, that's the end of that one. There we go. Cross the line, you see. Always cross the line, don't they? I'm 74, I still drag race a Dodge Charger and still win. I think, JD, you can uh, do things at any age if you know your stuff. 
Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Are you a fan of Formula One from past years? I grew up in the 70s and loved the era. No, I'm not big on it, actually, nowadays, but wonderful to see the cars. Stirling Moss was my time. Jim Clark, all that lot. Have you listened to uh, the radio station out in Scotland? I haven't, Beulah. I'll have a listen. I'll have a look at that. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Um, I want to become a friend of yours and pick your brain about my Crichton history. JD Cricket, yes, absolutely. Crichton. And I'll tell you where else. I mean, it's, it's an old hospital in Dumfries was Crichton Royal. Uh, there we are. I think it was Crichton Royal. Hi, Scotty, big Jimmy McDonald, working in till eight, till he could three. Lovely to have you with us, Jimmy. What's your opinion on the new Alba party? I haven't got one because I haven't got my head round it yet, but I will do. You're not on Pete Price anymore. No, I'm not. There we are. But uh, if you're talking to Peter, tell him, Scotty McGrew is asking, have you been to Aberdeen? I used to live in Aberdeen. I worked at the Grampian. Read the news myself and... Uh, Big Kennedy Thompson and Jimmy Sponky. Absolutely fantastic. Do you watch Still Game? I have seen it. I'm sure Nori would love to interview you and show you're brilliant. Bina, I'll have a look at all that. Fantastic. So there we go. Radio in Lanark. So there we are. The Admiral Crichton is one of my favourite films. Now, was that not Kenneth Moore? Did he not play the admirable Crichton? I remember it, it was one of the plays at Pitlochry Theatre, uh, and they had the Queen Mother down to see it, I'm sure, and it was the admirable Crichton. So there we are, the butler. He was the butler, wasn't he? The admirable Crichton. Would you like a tune on the squeeze box? <sighs> Jude, I can't say that. It's too silly. Grow up. Have a look at all my videos, guys. Follow me, Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Just put that in your search engine. I'll give you a song. Here we go. Spider says, Scotty, show us the thing you have your fingers on. Okay, can you see that? Are you all right there? Yeah. There you go. All right, happy with that. Love that sound. A wee Scottish number for you, I say. Wow, that was superb. Did you like that, Charlie? I played side drum in a grade one pipe band. How marvellous, JD. Let me give you some grade one pipe bands. Uh, Glasgow Police. Edinburgh Police. Um, Inverary. Or Inverary grade one, yes. Um, who else? We used to have Dysart and Dundonald. Yes, they were a, a grade one. Who else? Oh, lots and lots of them. Fantastic. That was awesome. Did you like that, Gavan? Shout out from the Philippines. Thoughts on narrow water. Are you talking about Annan again? You're talking about Hodom and the river Annan going by. So there we are. I could play the bagpipes. Wonderful, Charlie. My father was a great bagpiper. Yes, says Gavan. He enjoyed that. Fantastic. We like that. I thought you'd like a wee tune, you see. Ireland, Ireland. Yes, the pipe major was from Lone Head. Absolutely. I know exactly who that would be as well, but we shan't mention the names. That's tremendous. And uh, also, I love brass band. 
and military band. Fantastic. So there we go. I play the tin whistle. Excellent, Matty. Yes, Kenneth Moore and Diane Client, Sean Connery's ex-wife. Right. Uh, Scotty, get the slipknot on. Ah, the slipknot. Yes, very interesting. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That is quite a big one for you, Caden. I say, but we will accept that. How good is that? Right, guys. It's time that McClure wasn't here. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please follow me. Follow, follow, follow all the time. If you're watching, please do follow. It's very much appreciated. I can play the bass guitar, a little bit of smoke on the water. We have a beautiful Scottish influence music here in Nova Scotia. Now, are you not talking about the... Um, Oh, I know it so well. It's on the tip of my tongue. The fiddles. Yes, the Scottish fiddles that you, you, you have over there in Nova Scotia. And the sound is the Cajun sound. Am I right? Is it Cajun fiddles? Uh, how old are you? Nobody knows, Jordan. I could be any age because I'm a time traveler. Um, so there we are now. Here's somebody talking about the IRA, so you'll be talking about that historically because there's absolutely no place for it now and uh, really it's been out of favour for most of its life but I can see why it came into being from the Republican Brotherhood in 1916, uh, from the Brotherhood in the 1890s but nowadays absolutely unacceptable, gone peace process. So any ideas about that will get the thumbs down. So there we go. So Uncle Travis, you can forget that la. There we go. Mate, you're brilliant. A penny in your pocket, Scotty. Bless you. Uh, can you say happy birthday to my friend? I can. Um, so there we are. Fiddles, fiddles, fiddles. And so many of them. Cape Breton, not Cajun. Cape Breton. There's the Cajun fiddles as well, but I'm talking about Cape Breton. Am I correct? The Cape Breton fiddles. Yes, am I right, Bula? There we are. Now, make Ireland united. Well, have you asked the Irish people? Is that what they want? Because remember, Dublin would have to pick up the cost and you'd be running another country. So there you are. So, uh, you know, it would all be run between Dublin and Belfast. So there we are. Time travel. You're as old as you feel. I do not stand with the violence of the IRE. I agree with the Scottish and Irish independence. Absolutely. But, I mean, that's just old-fashioned thinking that has held Ireland up for, you know, a 100 years. So there we go. Why do a lot of Scots dislike the English government at the Royals? No Scot dislikes the Royals, Beulah. We love the royal family in Scotland because it is a Scottish family, yes? And the Scottish crown runs the English crown. So they don't dislike the English people. We love the English people. But Westminster has sucked the economic life out of Scotland. And, uh, you know, Scotland would do better running its own economy. So there we are. But we love the English and we love the royal family. Wouldn't mind a little video, if you know what I mean. Da, 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 da. Yes, the Cape Breton fiddles, you are correct. Thank you, Bela. I just had a wee. That was the one I was trying to uh, get in my mind here. Many thanks for your replies. Not at all, J.D. My wife's Irish Scots. You're not having a drink tonight, Scotty. I don't drink, but I have a large water with me. Oh, do you know that the Americans wanted Bonnie Prince Charlie to be their king after independence? So they wouldn't have actually been a republic. Isn't that interesting? Love you, mate. Dinky you do, Charlie. How can you get free from Westminster through independence? Well, you run your own. We have our own government in Scotland, and most things are devolved, and what you would like is everything 
to be devolved. Uh, there we are, Cape Britain, a great place, and Scotland would trade internationally, probably rejoin the EU. If ever visit Scotland, I want to go out for a pint with you. Jacob, I thank you. I will have a soft drink. Careful there, Scotty, dinner be uh, chugging the water too fast. No, no, I don't want to flood myself. So there we are, fantastic. Right, guys, I'm going to say a cheery bye. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Thank you for your company. I have thoroughly appreciated it. I hope we've all been good company because we are one on Scotty McClue's TikTok Live. So do follow us, salt and sauce, salt and vinegar. And I'm a salt and sauce man, actually. I have to be honest about it. One of the lovely, lovely, many lovely things about living in Edinburgh. Sauce on your fish supper. Scotty, when do you think we can come to Scotland? Well, once we get all this lockdown sorted. Think you do, JD Cricket. Thank you very much. Right, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheery O. See you, my darlings. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay safe. Stay fabulous. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every one of you. ta lads!